over here at the LFS looking at their show tank. This filter almost mimics what the ocean does for these fish. This fish looks like uh, he may have a little bit of a parasitical problem, maybe. He keeps rubbing on the rock. It happens, though, in this hobby. We can only try to mimic what's in the ocean. There's another 300 gallon behind me. And then another 300 gallon on the other side of it. And then there, behind me is another open reef. AKA open reef. Hinting where my mom usually sits on the couch on the other side of this though. There's a hermit crab with the white legs. That's one big snail. I need another big snail. Or a couple guys like these ones on the bottom here. Anywho, this is just a little update for the fish store. And I uh, hope you enjoy. I ain't doing too much, just showing you the clowns, showing you the tanks. I'm trying to avoid the speakers so I can use it on YouTube. There's one of my anemones. I'm supposed to get that. I was supposed to get that before the other person marked their damn name on it. <laughs> AKA, that's mine, not that person's. <laughs> Anywho, I was just joking with somebody who's in the store. She she laughed at what I was saying, so anywho. Protein skimmer, reactor, etc., so on and so forth. There's an anemone that you don't usually want, I think. Thing right there. Where my finger is. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time. Here's the side view of one of the reef tanks, the open top. I'm not sure how many gallons this is, I'd have to ask. And um, I've always loved this tank. They used to have a fish in here I used to call Rico. But, uh,. They got rid of him to a client a few months ago, and now it's just two tangs. I'm not sure what type of tangs. And there's these guys right here, I always forget their name too. Blue tang, yellow tang, and a golden handed sleeper. Or golden headed sleeper.
certain type of the snail in the wild that this little feeler here in front has a it's an, in Australia that the other type of them lives but uh, it's usually called a cone snail and you want to leave them alone when you're in Australia because they have a venom supposedly but that's only in Australia this is probably a different type of them I'm just stating there are different types Anyways, more of the tanks, the little tanks. I want this guy up here, this phantom clown. Very bad, I want him. Look at his spots, he looks so cool. They need to put a little alcohol in this tank. <laughs> and to get rid of all the little problems. He brought this uh, tang back to, to life, so to speak. This tang was going through a battle, the battle of life, of the saltwater tank life. And, uh,. It's almost back to recovery and healed. It was getting a disease we commonly get in, in uh, the tank keeping hobby. And now he's coming back. He's making his full recovery. That makes me really happy.